Hi, and welcome to OurChurch.com's video tutorial series on WordPress. And on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manage the settings of the WooCommerce plugin. So when you're logged into the back end of the dashboard of, the, of your website, scroll down to where it reads WooCommerce and select Settings. Now when you're on this next page, you'll see there are many tabs at the top for you to select from. So there is a general settings and it can show where your base location is. So if you want to uh, select the state where you're located, uh, if you're doing, here, doing it here in the US, you can select whichever state you uh, have your business in. Your sell selling location, so if you only want to sell to uh, people within your country or within the United States, if you're in the U.S., then you can select that or you can select to sell to all countries. But if you want to um, sell to specific countries only, you make that designation and then click on specific countries and then you can select all the different countries that you want to sell to. Now the next item here is a store notice and on the store notice we're just going to skip on past that and uh, the same thing we will skip past the default setting with the API that's a little bit more technical than most people need to get. Under currency options if you're selling within the US you would select US dollars and you can also select the currency position if you want it on the left, on the right, with a space, without a space, we'll keep it as the default. And if you want a thousand separator, a decimal separator, and the number of decimals, which of course we use uh, two decimals here in the US. And then you do have a, um, a couple of options when it comes to style and scripts uh, down at the bottom. I would so, uh, recommend that you keep things exactly as they are. Uh, as far as the default. Uh, if you do want to play around with it, you do have that capability, um, but it does get a little bit more technical when you do that. So that are, uh, that there is the listing of the general settings. When you're done with the general settings, go ahead and click on Save Changes. And then that will save any of the changes that you made on that particular page. So I hope this gave you a good understanding of how to manage the general settings in the WooCommerce plugin. Please come back and watch more tutorials so we can help you accomplish your mission online.